Next, let's take a look at sign up forms and how to add them to your website. So let's head over here and click on forms. Now, there are three different types of forms we can add. There's the pop-up form, which will just be a window that pops up on your website when somebody visits it for a certain amount of time or when they scroll past a certain point of the website and then people can enter their details in this window. And then we have the embedded form, which you can embed on any page on your website so maybe in a blog post or maybe in your website footer. And then we have promotions. Now, this is not really a sign up form. This is just a pop up that will be some kind of promotion you want to communicate to your website visitors. Now, I'm going to create a pop up form. So I'll go to pop ups and click on create. Let's start by giving this form a name. I'm just going to name it website form and I'll leave this at pop up and click on save and continue. Then here we have to select the group that the new contacts will be added to once they sign up using this form. So I'm just going to choose this group and click continue. Then here we can choose from different templates for our pop up form. Now I want to use something simple. So I'm going to choose this template right here. And this takes us into the form editor where we can make changes to this sign up form. Now, first of all, here at the top right, we can see different types of pop-up forms. So currently with this option, the form will just be shown in the center of the screen. We can also change it to this option. So the form will show up here at the bottom of the screen, or you can maybe choose this option, which makes the form fill the entire screen. Now I'm going to go back to the default one right here. And now I'll just start to make some changes to this form. So first of all, I can change the font right here. Currently it's Poppins, which is actually nice. So I'm going to maybe change it to Roboto. Then I'm going to change this image right here, which is the sidebar background. So let's click on it and click on this icon. Then I'm going to upload the image I want to add and click insert. Then I'm going to go ahead and change this text. Then to go into the form settings, we're going to have to click on this pen icon here. So I'm going to change the button text to send it now. And for the fields, I'm going to leave it as it is. I just want to ask for the email and the name. If you want to add more fields, you can just click on add fields and then ask for maybe the last name or a phone number as well. But I'm going to keep it like this and click on save. Now, once we're done editing this form, we also want to go to the success message because this is what people will see once they enter their details and click on the submit button. So I'm just going to make some changes here as well. And here at the bottom for these social icons, we want to make sure to enter our social media links right here. Or if you don't want to show these links, you can just click on the trash icon. Now to go to the next step, let's click on done editing. And here we can now set the trigger for this pop up form. So currently it's set to wait five seconds after somebody visits your website. And then after five seconds, this pop up will show up. We can also have it show up after somebody scrolls to past 50% of your website or any other amount. Or we can also show the pop up once somebody tries to leave your website. So I'll just check all of them and leave this time at five seconds. And all of the rest here, I'll leave the way it is and click on save changes. So now to put this form onto our website, we have to copy this code and paste it right before the head tag on every page of our website. Now, depending on where you have created your website, the process of this might be a bit different. So if you don't know how to do this, then I would recommend to contact support for whatever you have created your website and ask them where you need to put this code. If you have a web developer, just give this code to this person and then they should know exactly what they need to do. Now let's click on continue. And now to activate this form, we can just come over here and turn on the status. And by default, the double opt-in feature will be turned on for this form, which means that when somebody signs up and enters their details here, they will have to go to their inbox and confirm that they want to be part of your email subscriber list. So when we go to double opt-in right here, we can see the email that they will receive once they sign up. And only once they click on this button right here, they will be opted into your email list. Now, if you don't want them to having to confirm being on your email list again, all you have to do is turn off the double opt-in feature. 